Hey uh, YouTube, I'm back and today I'm doing a video on how I get my naturally really curly hair to this little straightened sort of slick back look. We go through the products I use and the way like I style my hair and I straighten my hair. So the first thing you want to know is basically the haircut I got. Uh, I've got a disconnected undercut and it's a grade 2 on the sides so if you see like the line comes all the way, there's no like cut in line and that's followed around on both sides so it's symmetrical and you can work your hair like either way. Uh, the reason I went for the undercut is because I have really thick curly hair and when I tried to straighten it and stick it back without all the bits from it, like if you had a fade you'd have these tufty like fluffy bits and that would just like add weight to your hair and would let it go back properly. So now they're like eliminated it works much better. So let's start with I'm gonna go wash my hair and you'll see what it looks like naturally. Alright this is my hair like after I've showered my natural sort of curly hair. See, it's really, really curly, really thick, and when it starts to dry, it gets really frizzy. For shampoo and conditioner, I use Rich Award Collection, here it is. I use the shampoo and the conditioner. They both contain keratin, which is supposed to help with frizzy hair and curls. And the reason I use it is because, well, my hair gets seriously frizzy and it's a pain. I'm not gonna straighten it, so that's why I use this. Bad video right now. It's a really bad video. Alright, next is this product from Goldwell, which is like a straightening cream. You apply it to your hair just before you towel, well, after you towel dried it. Blow dry your hair as straight as possible. Straighten it with the product already dried in your hair. And it's supposed to keep your hair straight for as long as possible. Like, it says it should uh, last three washes, but I have really curly hair, so that's not the case. But it'll like, it'll last, it'll make it look better the next day. Like, you won't wake up with too many curls coming through. And I, I definitely recommend it, it works well and it gives a nice sort of shine to your hair and it feels nice in your hair. But also after you've straightened your hair it's going to be really dry, so I recommend an argan oil or you can use a tea tree oil or other oil which is good for hair. Argan oil I recommend, it's quite expensive but it really does uh, do its job. You want to remove as much moisture as you can with a towel. So with the towel, we're going to be going backwards and with the hairdryer, I'll show you, we're doing the same thing. The product we want to add is the straightening balm, which I've now misplaced. There it is. dry I look like an apricot straightening in the hair if there's smoke coming off of it like quite a lot then you've got a problem because your hair isn't dry enough so go back blow dry it then go on to straightening bit now. the straighteners I'm gonna be using are the Remington Ker yeah. Remington keratin therapy hair straighteners that you should always start at the back when straightening grab a small bit with a brush I use a brush just so I can go over it multiple times without it being too hot to hold and you want to just pull in the hair up and back. You want to be going up because if you go up, you're getting as much length out of it as possible. And back because we want the hair to be all going back. So I'm going to tell you the products I use and you can use whatever you want. But I'm just going to tell you why I recommend them and why I use them in my hair. As I mentioned before, the first product I'm going to apply is a really small amount of this Moroccan argan oil. Get it all into the hair. Never just go over and over it because you're going to be missing everything that's underneath. Now, just with that in, you can tell the hair looks a bit more natural. But I always want my hair to look like it's sort of the next day because the day the day you do your hair, it always seems a bit fluffy and I always think it looks better the next day. So that's why I go for these products I'm going to talk to you about now. First product I'm going to apply is a pomade or a wax, and I use black and white. I've got two here, different sizes. I'm only going to use a really small amount because I want a natural look. So I'm going to use a really small amount, rub it into your palm until it's warm. It's going to have loads of hold, but it's going to give your hair workability so you can like rework it and it's going to give you that bit of shine and texture. So next I'm going to be using a sea salt spray. This one's from Got To Be. Uh, you can use any sea salt spray. You can make your own but I wouldn't recommend it because using natural sea salt is going to dry out and damage your hair and these ones are made clearly to do good for your hair. A couple of sprays, not many. 
because if you, you don't want to wet the hair because as we straightened it, when you wet it, the waves are going to start coming back through. So you work that into your hair. Some sort of matte product. I've got two. I've got Jake Berry Matte Rock, which is from Jake Berry Barbers in Brighton. Uh, if they've got a website, I'm going to leave it link in the description. I haven't checked, but hopefully they do. I really recommend it. It's a great product. Uh, and it's got a good hold and good. it's got a good smell to it as well. And if you can't get access to that, another one I recommend has got to be it's got to be Beach Matte product. Um, it looks like this on the inside. When you put it into the hair, you can't see you've got loads of product in your hair. It smells good as well, which is something you want. And it's got the same effects as the sea salt spray gives. What they say, like a surf, what does it say on here? It says, oh no, I made that up, sorry. Beach Matte. Beach matte surfer look, matte paste. So it looks like the look when you have your hair after you've been near the beach. So I'm gonna be using this one today. You want a small amount of this, about that much. And you wanna work it into the tips of your fingers. And yeah, just work it in. You don't wanna work it too much because it's not like a pomade, you have to warm it up. Just get it coated in your hands. All in the hair again. This is the one that's gonna give it a bit more hold. And texture so you get that in there and we'll go back again and there you have it you can use use a hairspray for going out on a windy day but I don't like to because I've gone for the natural look the rest of the way through you can push it over a bit like that and bring it back on this side for a different sort of look or you can just go straight back and of course you can tie it up now it's straight when you tie it up it's gonna look a bit better than if you didn't so I hope you liked it if not yeah. Just leave me a comment, uh, a thumbs up on this video would be great, any feedback would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you all next time.